Hey guys, I'm going to talk about how you can get your computer set up with React Native so you can follow along and build the stack calculator with me. Now I'm going to give you three options and the first one is called Snack Expo. This is for you if you do not want to configure anything or install any technology at all onto your computer. Um, you would develop it entirely in this little web app right here where it has an editor on the left and you can see an Android app on the right. You can also switch to iOS and they have lots of different features here. Um, but notice as I type, hello world, um, it'll go ahead and save, refresh, and we see hello world pop up here. So really nice experience when developing. You just type stuff here, pops up right here. So if you want to, um, this is a good way to do it. If you want to install nothing on your computer, just come to this URL here. You can start up a new project. So I'll link this in the description below if you want to try this. The other way is using Create React Native App. Now, if you're familiar with React, you probably know about Create React App. This is very similar. It is a nice way to bootstrap and get a React Native application up really quickly. Now, the advantage of this is there's a couple advantages to this. If we scroll down to the bottom and we look at the philosophy for this, um, you don't have to install Android Studios or Xcode, um, which is really nice. Uh, if you know anything about React Native, it can be really annoying to try setting up both of those guys I've done in the past, and stuff can easily get messed up. Um, so it's really nice to be able to just uh, run create, create React Native app and not have to worry about those. And also, I don't need to have a Macintosh computer to now d develop for uh, Apple. So for example, I can use this Create, create React Native app uh, on a Windows computer. This works on any operating system. And I could use it on Windows or Linux machine. And if I have an Apple phone, um, I can scan. There's a little barcode that will come up. You scan the barcode and you can actually run the app on your phone, even if you have an Apple phone or if you have an Android phone, either way. But you no longer need to have a Mac computer. So that's really nice. Um, and also, the developer experience is really nice similar to how expo over here where I just type and it will just pop up over here automatically same thing um, this snack expo is built by the people that did this as well so it just auto refreshes the app and it's really nice experience but there's a couple downsides to this one uh, the first is you need to have an uh, internet connection uh, for it to run on your phone if you want this to run on your physical phone uh, your computer and your phone have to be on the same network, um, which I'll show you how to set up in a little bit. Um, or you can run it without internet if you have a virtual um, emulator on your computer. And you can run that just off to the side and have that and it'll connect and run on it. Now there's another downside as well. Um, here it talks about the limitations. While you don't have to install Android or Xcode, um, that means you're only writing pure JavaScript. So if you want to run any kind of native code, which means specific Java or Swift code for uh, Android or iOS specific, um, you won't be able to do that. So there is a third way to do things, and uh, there's a fish, an official um, React Native CLI. Now, React Native also recommends using Create React Native App, but you can also, if you need to use native code. Um, I'll link this as well. This is the official React Native CLI. You can use that and uh, install. X, you'll need to install Xcode or Android Studio depending on which you want to run it on. But for this tutorial I'm going to be using uh, Create React Native App just because how easy it is and how nice of a developer experience it is. So let's get this installed on your computer too. So over here I just have command line open and first thing I'm going to do is get the version of my npm. Now if you don't know what npm is, that is a package manager for JavaScript which means you can install third uh, party libraries with it. So if you don't have this on your computer, make sure to install node. Now after you install node, run npm and get the version of it like I just did. Now you probably are seeing version 5 or uh, that's the latest. I think it's 5.6 is the latest right now. Um, it might be higher up depending on when you're watching this. Um, but currently, and you might check the documentation for a Create React Native app whenever you're watching this. 
um, right now they have a little bug with um, npm5 so let's see if I can find it. here we go so we it says strongly recommend using npm4 or 5 there's a bug with npm5 currently um, sorry I said 3 or 4 so I'm going to be using npm4 if you don't have npm4 and you have npm5 what you can do is type npm install dash g and then npm app 4 so what this will do is it'll replace your current npm version with npm4 which I've already done so I'm good to go so once you have that you can go ahead and install create react native app so if you have npm all you have to do is do npm install dash g and dash g stands for global so it's a global utility and create react native app now after you run that I've already installed it what you can do is you can just type into the command line create react native app um, and then the name of your application I'm gonna call my application stack calculator and uh, I've already run this but go ahead and run this and it'll generate the project and uh, you'll get a folder called stack calculator you can cd in there and ls and you should see these files in here so if you made it this far and you have um, this setup then you are good to go and we'll start in the next video actually exploring what these are and then how to actually oops and how to actually run this on your actual physical phone or in an emulator well, that's it for this video guys i'll see you tomorrow